Hello again, this is Jilly. <laughs> I've heard my name mentioned on lots of videos going around on YouTube at the moment doing the balloon kissing and didn't quite know how to pronounce my name. It's Jilly, Jilly Rice Cube. Cube as in cube, but with a K. <laughs> uh, and Jilly, my parents spelt Jilly with a uh, Jillian with a G. So there you go, it's clarified. Um, just going to, this was one I did earlier this morning, trying to just get my colors, but um, I'm doing a variation of these colors on this next canvas, which is going to be a 50.8 by 60.9 centimeter canvas. So that was just one that I did earlier on, trying to, I'm just really loving like a deep aubergine color at the moment, like a real deep crimson. So I've been trying to mix my own. Had another go again this afternoon. So um, we'll see how we go. So this video will be in two parts. I will do the first of the swipe and then the second video will be on the balloon kissing. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, if anybody's wondering what my pouring medium is, uh, it's I have a video on my art page. I think it is now on YouTube, not sure. Um, but it has my pouring medium with the Elmer's Blue Ore. So I'm not going to go through that again. So I'm just going to get right into it because um, I try, I'm trying to make this one a bit shorter video. Okay, so I'm going to do the swipe first. And this is how I always do my swipes. Okay. So this was color that I'm using was purple. Global paints I'm using, Australian made global paint. It was purple and I have added just simply white to tone the purple down because I've got a lot of dark purple going in this one. Crazy colour I'm going to add, which is was the burnt umber, but I added um, silver, metallic silver, so to take it down like a latte colour. So I'm going to pour that through. Always when I'm doing a swipe, I try to stay away from the edges because I usually have so much paint on the canvas that. I can cover those edges well and truly with my paint so no need to get too close to the edges this is just a, i'll just show you this little pour i did this morning it was just a dirty flip pour just trying to get the colors to see what the colors would look like together um, but I quite liked that. I just probably would have liked a bit more aqua in it. So I'm introducing a different green into this one. Okay, this is the rich aubergine that I made up this morning myself, which was basically global purple. Then the, I think it was the cool red into it. Um, and it's come up really nice, deep. Just wanted to go with a bit more darker, classy looking painting because this is on a gallery wrapped canvas and and it's I'm trying to get together at least 20 paintings for a local art gallery in my hometown. It's asked me to Put at least between 13 and 20 on display so I'm gonna have to wait a while till I get some more fully finished to put in her gallery so it's pretty exciting because I've really only been doing this paint pouring now just just over a year and from my beginning to paintings to now you know I feel that I've definitely improved which is Okay, that's looking kind of delicious. So I have got, which was um, global turquoise, but again, I just wanted to tone it down a bit. So I've just added white um, 
just nice creamy not too thick okay let's go well, I'm not gonna put too much of this on because I think I've already got heaps of paint on this particular canvas I'm just trying to now fit all the colors that I've got in which is sometimes doesn't work so not too much did also have just a little bit lighter but I think I'm gonna leave that one out um, also have a palm green okay okay I'm going to tilt some of this paint now to cover the canvas so, my little doggy pee pads down so sorry if the canvas goes out of the frame but just trying to get the whole canvas covered again it looks like a motley crew of colors that you probably would never want to put together but I'm really hoping that they turn out lovely. As I said before, I'm just an absolute freak with colours. I just love trying colours, colour combinations, I dream about them. <laughs> I see them, I'm looking at people, I look at their clothing and think, oh, I'd like to do a paint in those colours. My friend had a shirt on last Friday and I said I have to paint those colours, I have to make those colours up that you've got in your shirt because they were just really nice. Anyway, hopefully, I think we're, let's check whether my canvas is in frame. Sorry if it's not because I can't seem to, I need a bit of help with my camera work and videoing and setting up a youtube channel it's everyone keeps asking me oh please set up but i'm absolutely hopeless at those kind of things so i just have to wait till my son who's on holiday in america at the moment one of them gets back and helps me set up my channel and does it a little bit better I didn't really want to do a channel but I'm not sure why people do videos on YouTube as opposed to Facebook, so maybe somebody can enlighten me. <laughs> Just got to swill off my hands because I'm so full of paint. Okay. I'm going to do my swipe. It's, it's pearl white. So it's, it is like a creamy color, it's not white white. So I'm gonna go with a light color on this because I've got so many dark colors. Take it right through the center there. Probably need a little bit more. I don't drag my, um, I don't usually do a second line. I can always find that one is enough for what I've, I'm doing anyway. Okay, so I'll get my swipe, my trusty, swipe tool. Just move my paints out of the way. There you go. So here with my soft plastic folded divider. Let's see how this pearl white turns out on this. I was going to go way out and do a brown swipe. But might try that on another one. And just gently pull in. No hurry. Do it a lot slower than I'm doing it. So I just don't want the video to be too long. My son said, Mom, nobody wants to watch long videos, but maybe they're thinking of the type of videos that they watch, not tutorials. <laughs> I'm actually going to go around the other side and swipe instead of turning this canvas. It's quite heavy with all that paint on it. So I'm just going to, just the very tip again, you just drop into your paint. 
been a pretty windy old day here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, I'm looking forward to very much on Tuesday, my sisters, the two elder sisters, are flying over from the UK to be with me for a month, so may even do a video with my sisters having a tutorial because that will truly be the first time they've ever done such a thing. Oh. But very excited so and maybe you'll all get a rest of all my paintings spamming up your Facebook feed. Okay that is my swipe. And I can see already that's going to come out beautiful. Just going to turn the fan away from myself. Okay, do this thing again that I just dip, dip, dip down. It creates a nice little clusters that make the painting look. If you want to just leave it as a swipe, 3D sort of very just a very good way of creating nice cluster cells just straight down believe it or not it's my husband that showed me this actually when I was he was watching me do the straight over waving round like a wand and he said Jill just try it like this. I thought, well, you don't know nothing. You're not a paint pourer, but. So I have him to thank for having a really cool kind of 3D look because the clusters, don't know why he actually knew. I mean, he welds and does, so I'm not sure if that's got something to do with it. But I'm really liking that already. So. I will just take it down for you to have a quick look at what I've created so far and then I will end this video and do a part two. Oh, oh sorry about that guys. So it's kind of nice cluster cells. And of course the turquoise and the teal and the palm green when that's dried off a little bit more that's going to really pop now I could leave it like this because it will develop and the cells will stretch out and it will would look lovely as a painting but I'm going to do my balloon diff so hopefully see you for part two thank you